how to play nice with others. Oh, oh, okay. Are you, uh, so Al, are you one of both? You don't know how to play nice with others? Okay, all right. Yeah, <laughs> got to watch Sesame Street, that's it. So in your Bible, if you want to read it, on page, page 21, the scripture from Matthew chapter 22, verse 34 to 40 says, and this is the greatest commandment, hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees to, got together, one of them, an ex expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Okay, and then on page 41, if you want to open your Bible, it says in Mark chapter 12, 28 to 34, it says, One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, Jesus answered, is this, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. Well, teacher, the man said, you are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared ask him any questions. So the question is the conversations. So... In your conversations with people, do you have a hard time understanding what love means? Does, does anyone here feel absolutely, totally loved? Does anyone here feel that they love somebody absolutely? Okay, that's good. What is the importance of love? Is love important? Okay. But if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the Bible, is love still important? Why? Comfort? Relationships? None of us like being alone. We want to be in relationship, and to be in relationship, we've got to have love, right? So, I wanted to, I wanted to have a conversation with you about love. Now, there's four loves. Bet you didn't know that. And I'm going to explain them to you. So the first love, and this is Greek so the first love is storge, which means one's own nature, natural affection, husband, wife, children, pet, a sense of all is well within and devoted. So storge is more of a personal thing. You know, you're like, oh man, I just love riding my Harley. Oh, I just love my dog. Oh, I just love that person, right? Oh, I just love eating and chowing down on a Big Mac or something. Okay? That's, that's one part of love. Or our children, our grandchildren, our spouses, people that are family, right? And the second love is eros. And in the Greek, eros is an erotic love 
passion, emotional involvement, body chemistry. This love is self-satisfying. It's an example. I love you because you make me happy. What can you get out of a relationship? It changes when you don't get what you want. So that kind of love is conditional, right? And it's more physical than it is emotional or spiritual. And then the third one is phileo. And phileo means brotherly love. It's a companionable love. It's liking, fondness, brotherly love, and it involves giving and taking. I love my brothers. I love my sisters. I love you guys. And then the final one, the one that is God's love, is agape. And somebody already said agape love to me earlier. And it is called out of our heart. It is a love of esteem. And it's like a prize. And it does not involve merit or worth. It delights in giving. It is not based upon performance. Its desire is only good. And it originates with God. God is love. And it's a consuming passion. The usage of the word love, agape love, is used about 320 times in the New Testament. And there are not known many usages of this context of love out, used outside the Bible. So, so it's important, it's important to know that God is love. And it's an unconditional love. Do you remember uh, maybe, I don't know, five, six months ago, uh, I was talking about breathing. Anybody here remember when I was talking about breathing? I go breathe in, breathe out. So, so every breath we take. So just do this with me, okay? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So breathing in and breathing out means Yahweh. That's God's name. And so each breath is a gift. So we get, every breath we take, whether we realize it or not, we're going, we're saying the name of God. We're going, Yahweh. Yahweh. Okay? Every breath, we're saying the name of God. And every breath is a gift. Now just think about love. How much does God love us if he takes, gives us each breath. And that's an unconditional love. So it's important to think about that. And like, and like I said back at that time, I said, don't waste your breath. You got a gift, you got life, and God's got a plan. Don't waste it. Now, I wanted to add, so back in the day, you know, they got all these people who are religious, right? You know, you got priests and you got fathers and pastors. And back in the day, you had Sadducees and you had Pharisees. I remember singing this old Christian song. Oh, I just want to be a sheep. I don't want to be a Sadducee because they're so sad, you see. Or I don't want to be a Pharisee because they're not fair, you see. It's a, kid's, it's a kid's thing. Anyways, the Sadducees were religious and political, and they rejected the oral law and believed in the written law. And they, they were in conflict with other religious leaders of the day, the Pharisees. They didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead and that the soul was eternal. The Pharisees were a political party and a social movement Resurrection of the dead, they believed in, and in reincarnation. Now, the word teacher in this context was Jesus. Jesus was considered a teacher. And so, I just want to end it off here with this. Just saying that, as you are living your life, as you are trying to figure things out, 
try and figure out your relationships and try and figure out what love means and how love is important. And just remember what I said about breathing in and breathing out. Each breath is a gift and you are loved by the Creator. Okay? So that was our first chapel. What did you think? Okay? We'll do it again next month. Next Sunday, next Sunday uh, is Street Church and uh, I think we're doing chili. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to be playing with water. So you'll have to come and check that out. Okay? I'm going to close it off in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity. I pray, Lord, you keep people safe, keep them warm, and just be with them today and let them know that you love them. In your name we pray. Amen.